Why? Why? Why did I click that link? I'm like my girl. She say these one of them purchases where you just got to close your eyes and hit continue. Cash out. Girl. Girl. Girl, girl, girl. What was I thinking? I don't even know. I feel like this was an impulse purchase and I'm debating about returning it. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Muriel here. And I'm back today with a coach unboxing. Listen, I was at work, minding my little business, pushing my little cart, passing my little meds, and I get a notification on my smartwatch, coach dropping the new Shearling tabby bag. Now listen, I've always wanted a tabby. And the fact that it was in Shearling, I own I own a Shearling bag and Nolita by JLo and Coach when they did their little thing last year. And I was like, hmm, do I really need this? And I pondered on it for all of two minutes and I purchased. I purchased this. I did this. And now I'm sitting up here looking like, is this what I really want? Anyways, let me stop rambling, get to unboxing, and let's see, am I going to keep this item or send it back? Because this was an impulse purchase and I really don't need any more bags, but I thought this piece was very unique, very different. It's like something in me was like, I have to have it. And then this color, I was like, I'm not sure. And I waited, I waited. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase it. And if I get it and I don't like it, I'm gonna send it back. It's very expensive. That was another reason why I was reluctant to purchase it. I'm an insider, it's free of charge. But whenever they send me text messages, if I like something, I like something. This I like, but I wasn't fond of the price. And that's why I hesitated. Like I love the bag, but it was the price that just was like, I don't understand. Why is it this much? But it took me all of two minutes to pull the trigger and decide, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it. I have power, what is it? Power purchase or purchase power on my Klarna. You know I purchased it through Klarna, honey. That good old Klarna for those of you who don't know. Is that checkout? When you check out, it's there. I mean, it's there, it's, it's an option. One thing I like the fact about Klarna is that I can customize how I wanna pay it off, when I wanna pay it off, and if I wanna pay it all off at one time. So I opted for the Klarna, which I chose, I guess it's like four easy payments broken up into however much. And so that is how I checked out. Disclaimer, I am not posting this video to brag. I was not fortunate enough to purchase bags when I was growing up. I really wasn't even into bags growing up. I did not come from generational wealth and I became a mother at a very young age. Now that my kids are much older and don't require or need a lot of things at this point, knock on wood, I feel like I am able to appreciate some of the more luxury items. I do not purchase items like this all the time. So this is just a disclaimer. It's not to boast or anything. I just like Coach. Coach has been that thing. If you know how I liked makeup back in the days, that's how I have a relationship with Coach right now. Back in the days when I loved makeup, I loved Ulta and I, I just went into Ulta like every other week to buy makeup just because. Now I'm not so much into makeup. I am now into handbags. But anyways, let me stop rambling. Let me go ahead, get to what y'all came here for, right? You came here for the unboxing. So we got the coach box here. I haven't opened anything yet. It's very small. So that's giving me, <laughs> you can't fit nothing in here vibes. This is the coach Shearling Pillow Tabby 18 in the color, what is the color? Fuchsia. Now, if this is a true fuchsia, it's going back because I ain't really no fuchsia type of girl. Do I want to do an unboxing? Let me do it real, real quick and I'll be right back. Girl, 
I don't even know how that reel turns out because I was trying not to pull the tag off. But here you have it. Now, this looks so good with this green. But it's this price tag that got me in a chokehold, baby. Because this thing was like $400. $495 USD. First impression, it's okay. And it's not fuchsia. It's like a deep, great color. I like the gold hardware. It's nice. It's okay. I'm not going to do mod shops right now because I don't have on any bottoms. <laughs> it's a look. <sighs> Hold on. Y'all about to make me put on bottoms. And I ain't even trying. I don't even want to put on bottoms. But I guess I need to put on bottoms to do a mod shot. This, this does not fit my phone. I have the iPhone Pro Max 13. It does not fit at all. It does not fit. And I just have the case because I record on my camera, but I'm not sure what actually fits in this bag. And if I decide to keep it, I will do a what's in my bag. But right now, I don't know how I feel about it. What y'all think? Y'all think I should keep it? It's a really, it's a beautiful color. It's I wouldn't say it's a fuchsia. I would say it's more of a deeper, dark purple. It looks very good against a pop of color. As you can see, I have on green and I feel like this goes well with this handbag i just don't know for the price tag is it really worth 495 dollars um, but that means a hundred dollars is going to be coming out of my account for this little bag that i am not completely 100 percent in love with now i love their hardware and i love the fact that i can remove these handles and put my other handles from my previous coach bags onto here. I went and got bottoms y'all. And this chain is from my coach Cassie bag, coach Cassie 19. And I love the fact that I can change out the hardware on my coach bag. The thing that is bothering me is the price tag. I am not removing these things. I'm gonna have to pray on it. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. But more than likely, this thing might be going back because I don't know how I feel about this price tag. I just don't know. But anyways, let me show, oh, excuse me, y'all. Let me show y'all some mod shots and then I'm just gonna end out this vlog. Y'all give me a thumbs up if y'all want me to keep this or should I send it back? Do y'all feel like coaches price gouging or do y'all feel like this is a price for this Sherling bag. Oh, look, all three chains can fit. All right, I'm going to show y'all some mod shots and then I'm going to go ahead and end out this vlog. I think this is a nice bag. It's absolutely nice. It's the price tag that got me in a chokehold right now. And I'm not sure if I want to commit to this $495, considering that I just logged on today and saw that they were having a sale for $50 off any purchase, $200 or more. So I don't know how I feel about that. Do I need to call them up and get my $50 off for this bag? <laughs> Cause I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling a way about this bag. But anyways, we move. If you made it this far, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna do the mod shots, end out this video, and y'all have a blessed day. Leave me a comment down below on what you think about this bag. Should I keep it? Should I send it back? Should I ask for a discount? What should I do? <laughs> okay, you guys. Listen. Listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, you. listen, listen, Linda. Listen, listen, listen. After the mod shots, I don't know I'm feeling the weight. Because I'm standing there looking in my mirror and I'm just like, I'm seeing so many styles, looks, and ideas with this bag. And I'm like, and I have to ask myself. Is this bag practical? Is it functional? Absolutely not. Is this a look? Is this a vibe? Absolutely. This is definitely not a bag to wear every single day, but when you want to pop out, this is that girl. She's that girl. You probably can get some lip gloss, a key fob, a few credit cards, and maybe a cosmetic pouch in there and that's pretty much it it's a nice stylish fun bag so i don't know first impression no i did not want to keep her 
after seeing her, trying her on, styling her with my other chain, I am having second thoughts about keeping her. Listen, she's that girl. I don't know what y'all, y'all help me out. Let me know. Be the voice of reason. Let me know if I should keep her or if I should send her back. What y'all think? Because I don't know. She's a lot. She's a commitment. She's more than I paid for any of my coach bags. Like I literally catch them on sale. She's the one that's trying to give me a run for my money that I don't like. I don't know how I feel about that. <sighs> y'all let me know. I'll see y'all in another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.